separated from their loved ones for 162 days and counting. Impatience is now giving way to fury. These Israelis are demanding the government does a deal with Hamas to free the hostages. And they want Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to resign. They're calling for new elections. In Tel Aviv, they blocked the streets. Police on horseback were brought in to disperse the crowds. Protesters were arrested. Police using water cannons to try to stop the demonstrations from spreading. Every weekend, the families of hostages and thousands of their supporters are taking to the streets. I think they don't do enough for the hostage, they don't do enough for the war, and we want to change them. We're here to protest this government that hasn't been acting for the majority of people in Israel for a while now, especially since the beginning of the war. Talks to secure a ceasefire are expected to resume in Qatar today. And while Hamas has reportedly given mediators a new proposal for ending the fighting, there's not widespread optimism that a deal will be reached soon. We hope that soon as possible all the hostages will release and we hope that Israel will agree with the Hamas offer. Every day without a deal also adds to the suffering of Palestinians. The first shipment of aid to reach Gaza by sea in nearly 20 years is unloaded. The Israeli army has released footage saying it prepared the docking area, but aid officials say delivering supplies by sea is far less efficient than by truck. And with famine looming, only a fraction of what is needed is getting in. Alison Horn, ABC News, Jerusalem.